Well, good morning. This is Robert with Exploring the Local Life. Um, I have a few tips for you today. One of the cool things about uh, having a travel trailer and a pickup truck to pull it is that you get to have um, irregular adventures. And yesterday we were driving down the interstate in Georgia. We were headed down to Florida. We were going to spend a couple days um, cleaning up our uh, old sticks and bricks and then heading right back up after visiting with family and friends. But on the way down, we um, had a mechanical. Uh, we're driving down Interstate 75 and we're getting this hum sound. And after about a half an hour or so, it turns from a hum to a glug 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 And so we pulled over. Uh, we didn't really know what was near us, but of course with technology and the Google, uh, we saw that we were three miles from an RV park, a Twin Pines RV in Elko, Georgia. And one of the things is, you know, you just got to roll with the punches. Um, we can't count how many times we drove this past this RV park, uh, seeing the sign on the interstate, even before we ever thought of having a travel trailer. And uh, the adventure is that now we're here. We're spending a couple days here. Uh, we had the truck towed yesterday, uh, Wednesday night. And this morning we spoke to the Ford dealership, the Good Sam folks towed us per our insurance policy, no questions asked, over to uh, John Smith Ford or something like that in Byron, which is actually 21 miles up the road. Um, there's a couple of Ford dealerships six miles south and six miles north. I don't know why they had to take it that far, but you know, they're paying for that, not me. Um, but one of the cool things is, as I was saying, roll with the punches. We are in our home. We are in our RV, our travel trailer. We're right here. Hooked up, power, water, um, plenty of food in their fridge as we, <laughs> we normally travel. Um, so this is to encourage you that if you're thinking of having an adventure, um, about what can happen out there. Well, we, we broke down. I mean, we, we couldn't go more than five miles an hour without a terrible racket coming from the front drive shaft is what it was. It's a four by four, so the front drive shaft to the front wheels is uh, need replacing, according to Ford. I don't know what it is. They could be, it could have been some jelly in there and then turned into peanut butter and they say it's a front drive shaft and they're gonna charge me for it, but I'm gonna pay for it. That's what we do uh, with life. I'm not a mechanic, uh, but you get to learn a little bit more now and they'll have a new drive shaft. Um, but as part of that rolling with the punches, now we're at this great little RV park. Uh, I'm going to spend some time here today. We don't have, unless we rent a vehicle, we're going to talk to see if that's part of our insurance policy. Um, but we're going to go ahead and just spend time here in a place that we probably would never have stopped um, unless we were driving through and just planned an overnight stop. But now we're going to be here in Elko, Georgia. There's um, I believe Warner Robins Air Force Base up the street has an Air Force Museum that's free. Um, we're spreading out to see what we can do. So maybe we'll have something else to share with you soon. So this is Robert for Exploring the Local Life. Jessica and the kids are in the trailer. And it's a nice foggy morning. Actually, it's probably around close to noon and it's still foggy. But here's a quick panorama of where we are. So, uh, thank you for your time. This is Robert again for Exploring the Local Life. Jessica's busy working and hanging out with the kids inside. Thank you for watching. Uh, if you enjoy what we're doing, please like, please share. And if you have questions, put it in the comments. We'll be happy to answer whatever questions we can answer. Um, and let's make it a, a exchange. Anyways, thanks and y'all have a great day. Go RVing, keep traveling.